Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you seven ways that you can find good keywords on KW Finder. Now, this is just going to be a quick tutorial, so let's dive right into it right away. So the first and most obvious thing that you can do on KW Finder is to find the data of any keyword that you want. So Let's say we have a fish website and we want to know if best fish food is a good idea. The great thing about KW Finder is that once you type that in, it gives you all the data at a glance. We can see that there's 1,700 people searching for this keyword a month, which is a great number. And we can see that the keyword difficulty is at 30. Now, a rule of thumb is you don't want to be writing a keywords above 40 KD if you have a new site. But there's so much more that you get than just the traffic and the keyword difficulty. You also get a SERP overview so that you can see who is currently winning that keyword. Again, as we can see, it's Fish Tank Advisor. You can also see their DA, their Domain Authority, which tells you how difficult this website is going to be to beat on the SERP. And on the left side, you'll also get a lot of good keyword suggestions. And these are all related to your root keywords, so you might want to scroll through them and see which ones you want to write on. And of course, you can write, you can see the search traffic and the KD right there as well. Now, one little hack that I like to use is to sort the suggestions by search traffic. So for example, let's say that I want only the highest one, the keywords that are getting the most traffic. All I have to do is click this and it will sort everything from most traffic to least traffic. So you can see that Best Fishes gets 10,000 searches a month, Best Food for Beta Fish gets 3,600. So that way, I don't have to scroll and try to search for the ones that have good traffic numbers. Another way that you can use the sorting hack is to use it to find low-hanging fruit, the keywords that get very low KD. And the way you do this is to, by clicking the KD two times, and it will sort things by lowest KD to highest. If you scroll down here, you can see that best fish food for Molly is KD is only 11. Best food for Oscar fish it only has a 12 KD. And you can find even good ones. See, best koi food, it gets 1,200 searches a month, but its KD is surprisingly low, surprisingly low at 17. Now, the one problem with this is that it doesn't show you the KD of all the keyword suggestions right away. You will have to click on this magnifying glass and when you click on that magnifying glass, it will remove some of your some of your SERP lookup uh, points in KW Finder, and this resets after every day. So there's only a, a certain amount of uh, refreshes that you can do per day. So just keep that in mind as you're doing this little hack. So the next feature that we want to look at is the autocomplete feature. So to use that, what we do is we type in best fish food for and then we click on autocomplete. Now what autocomplete does is that it will complete your best fish food for sentence with good keywords. And this is another place where the search hack comes in really handy so that you can easily see the ones that, are, have, that have high search traffic. Now another little hack that I like to use is the filter hack. So what you can do is you can actually click here on the filter and let's say that you don't want to see the keywords that don't have uh, more than 300 search volume. You can do that right here and click set filter and it will cut away everything that doesn't have more than 300 search volume. It's a really nice way to just eliminate some of the things that don't fit your criteria. You can also, you can even add included keywords. For example, you want to make sure that the keyword has the word fish on it. You can add it here. Maybe you don't want to include things that have the word goldfish in it. There's so many ways that you can sort out all the suggestions that you get by using the filter tool. The next thing we want to look at is the questions feature. So let's type in fish food over here and let's click on the questions button. What this will do is it will give us a lot of questions that people are searching for on Google. This is great to find information keywords that we can write on to build on our authority of fish food. So again, let's use the sort by search and we can see where, can, where to buy fish food near me, how much fish food per fish, 
what fish food the guppies eat and things like that so that we can further build our authority that we know about fish food. Next thing we want to look at is the search by domain feature. Now, this is great for competitor research. If you find a site that's similar to yours and you want to know what they're ranking for, all you have to do is click on the search by domain tab, type in their address and click on search. This will show you all the keywords that they are currently ranking for and you can sort this by search to see which gets most the most search or you can sort it by the position. So position number one tells you that if you type in fish feeders then fish tank advisor will be the one that's winning that keyword. So you can see here these are all the keywords that fish tank advisor is currently winning. You can scan that list, see which ones you want to write on and also check out their article as well so that you will know how you can write something better than what they have. And the last thing that we want to look at is the search by location. So remember our keyword best fish food, it got 1,700 searches from all over the world. Now, if your partner only ships the United States, such as uh, maybe Chewy, so maybe you will only want to know how many people in the United States are searching for that keyword. That's very easy. All you have to do is click this location tag here, click on United States, and you will see the numbers from that country. So you can see it's a lot less, but it's still good. Now, if you're partnered with Amazon, Amazon ships all over the world, so that's not a problem. However, if your partner only ships within a certain country, this is a wonderful feature to have. You can even check Germany, United Kingdom, Spain, or you can even go into cities such as Chicago. So that's a nice feature to have, especially if you're doing local SEO. So that's it for today. Seven ways that you can use KW Finder to find good keywords. Now, if you want to try KW Finder yourself, they do have a free seven day trial. And if you want to support our free lessons here at Affiliate Marketer Training, please do use our link in the description below for the trial. Thank you and goodbye.